Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Vastine, and we are going to make some snowflakes. See that? See how pretty that is? Out of soda cans. And I've cut up some soda cans here, and I've cut them in half because uh, I can get two of these out of one one can. Now this was a Perrier water can that they had a special on them uh, and they had their cans really pretty. They look like this and I didn't have it in the um, die right because I wanted to get that part of the can but I have other cans so I can do it. But that's what you, Perrier cans are real little, so you can't get two out of those. And I got my new die in the mail today, and this is the one I'm using. I'm using that, and it's a Sizzix uh, Snowflake number three. That's what it says it is. Sizzix Snowflake number three. Okay, well now I'm going to show you how to cut a can open, how I cut a can open. I know there's several people and I some of my cans are sticky inside because when I told my husband to save them, he didn't rinse them out and I thought he did. And these have been sitting down here in my art room for a long time. So if this is irritating to you to listen to turn your volume down because sometimes the screeching like that gives people um, annoying it does me it's like scratching your fingernails down a chalkboard Ew. so what you want to do is kind of get on this on the top of the can in this part right here where it starts to bend and down here on this bottom part, but I'll show you. So, I get started with my X-Acto knife. And I just start going around and do this slow. And you're not supposed to do it towards you, but I don't know how else to do it. Just move your fingers out of the way. And uh, I'm trying to do it as quiet as I can. Uh, you're supposed to put it in so it's not point down, not straight down, but I can't seem to do it that way. And then you can also take your Tim Holtz scissors and you can cut it like that. But I seem to get jagged edges when I do this. See that? See how I get a jagged edge? So I kind of like to keep doing my X-Acto knife. And I do it real slow. I know slow motion. You want to get it done, so you want to do it fast. Now these snowflakes are not that big. I thought they were going to be bigger. Everything looks bigger on the internet, but then when I start thinking about it, they can't be too big if people are cutting them out of pop cans. And then I just take my scissors and cut that off. And then I put it in a 
I have a grocery bag over here that I'm saving the lids in for the recycle bin. And I'm just going to cut this little edge off. Then I take my scissors and I go down. There isn't a seam in these. And it looks like it, this one wasn't rinsed out either. So it's going to have syrup in it. Which is going to make everything sticky. Including my scissors and my fingers. I got me some wet wipes. So I just kind of go down this edge. Until I get to the resisted part here. And then I do the bottom one with my scissors. And I just keep going around. Being careful not to cut myself. This is not sharp, really. Once you get all the uh, straggly edges off. It's not sharp at all. So I'm going to lay it down here and just take my scissors along the top part here and just kind of trim this up where the jagged edges were. That's why I said turn your volume down if you don't like the sound of this. Gather up all the little end pieces and put them in your garbage bag or your ready to go to the recycle bin. And then I take it like Cat Hand does and I'll pull you out a little bit here so you can see. I just take it and I roll it along my table like so and that kind of flattens it out and I see there's syrup in it right here it didn't get rinsed out very good okay and I have a few little stragglies I want to cut those off so they don't poke me. Okay. Alright, that's how I cut my cans open. Now I laid this on here and I saw that I could get two snowflakes out of one can. So just cut it in half, unless you don't want your snowflake to have this back part, but I don't care, okay? So I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of one, two, th one, two, three, four cans. All right, let's get busy and cut it. I have a runny nose today, so let me get a Kleenex, and I think I'm trying to come down with something. I don't know. I've taken my allergy pill, but that doesn't work when you're coming down with the cold, and I don't want to come down with everything that YouTube has. You guys keep it to yourself. You YouTubers. Alright, I'm going to get my die cut and my machine. My big shot. Abracadabra. Here we go. Now this has two dies on it. It has a big one and a little one. And we're going to do the big one. So I'm going to set it in here with my plate on the bottom. And I'm going to turn this, and I'm going to put my can 
right there on it. And hopefully, I can't see it. These black dies, these steel dies are hard to, hard to see. I want to make sure I get my whole snowflake on there. that's going to work. Put my other plate on. And run it through. And let's see what we have. I did get a piece of that other one, so I'll we'll just take these pieces them in our basket and here we go here we have our snowflake yay 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 here we have it and then we have all these little pieces that I'm gonna recycle in the bag Oops. Careful, because they flip at you. Bell! Hang on. Bell, stop! I'm recording, honey. Please keep her from whining. Oh my goodness, that dog. Can't let her in the living room by herself anymore because she's got this. So here we go with the two I made. So let's do a Minute Maid. And we'll go this way with the die. And I'll put it on there like that. Make sure I get my whole thing on there. Don't want it to move. And we will. Which way do we go here? Crank it through this way. one close. Look how close I got it. But I got it on there. Make sure I get all these little pieces. Now, if you don't want to have the um, the outside what I'm trying to say is if you don't want the color on the, on this, like the lemonade, you can use your um, ink dyes. What am I trying to say? You know, you can do the ink stuff on here and um, I'm lost for words today. I don't know why, but I think this is pretty, and to hang it up and punch a hole in it, a little hole in there, and hang it up and let it spin around, 
in a window. That's what I plan on doing with them is putting them in my window. I'm going to punch a little hole and put like a um, fishing line or, or something through them. And yeah, so now I'm going to do the Canada Dry one. It's still sticky. I'm going to put this in the recycle bag. So I'm going to be cutting quite a few of these. And ouch, that poked me. Ow. I didn't feel too good. I got some on there. I probably could have made some big ones and some little ones, and I might just do that. I just got the idea. Well, that's not going to work. Okay, that'll work better. Now, I didn't come quite out right on that, but you know what? Snowflakes are not perfect. And I'm still going to keep it, even though that it cut off that little piece of circle there. See how they're circle? Well, that one got cut off, but I'm going to keep it anyway, because you know why? I did it wrong, and so it's punched out this way. You gotta turn them upside down so you get the em embossing part and not the negative part. But you know what? I'm keeping it anyway. I am. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna use it because all snowflakes are not perfect. You'll never find two of the same kind. Two of the, two of the, they've done a research on it. You'll never find two that are the same. All right, I'm going to do my Sprite can now. And then I'm going to put it the right way down. And put my plate on there. And... run it through. Oh, this is fun. This is so fun. So fun to see what they're going to come out and look like. Here we go. That one kind of got cut off too. But like I said, no snowflakes are two of a kind. And there you go. And I like the different, I like the soda can colors. I wish I had some of those the older Coke cans that had the snowmans on them, the Christmas ones, but we don't, well, West drinks Coke, but I haven't seen any this year with the snowmans on them yet. I don't drink Diet Coke anymore, so I have a few of the cans I saved, but Now be careful because these little pieces can hurt your fingers. If they get under your fingernail or when you're picking them up, they can really, they're really sharp. So be really careful. All right, let's do a the back side of 
the lemonade and see how it comes out. Now this one is not going to be, well, let's see. Yep, that way will work. If it didn't move, and it did. So some of the pieces didn't come out correctly, but you know what? It's okay. And that looks pretty also. The writing on it. Wow, I'm liking this. Do you guys like it? Hope so. All right, I'm just going to go finish up, and then when I decide what I'm going to do with these, I will come back on and show you if I hang them in my window or whatever. But I just wanted to show you what you could do with pop cans and your dies. If you have a snowflake die. I didn't have one, so I bought one, and I'm glad I did because they came out really cute. Alright, thanks guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it and subscribe if you're new. And thanks for all my new subscribers. I'm loving having new ones. Thank you so very, very much. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.